It's Saturday, June 16th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. Jeff on Twitter says, I really have a desire to get closer to God, but my flesh always gets in the way. How can I improve my moral condition so I can get closer to God? Thanks, Jeff. And a lot of you are feeling the same way. You can't seem to get your act together so that you can get closer to God. Well, I have some good news for you today. You don't have to. You know, what I have to do, what I have to say today is going to make a lot of you a bit relieved and open up the way for you to really get closer to God because this is probably one of the big things that gets in our way. We feel like we have to clean ourselves up before we really can get close to God. God won't love me if there are these specific sins in my life and we allow those sins to really get in the way of our communication with God. Now, let me lay some foundations as we begin this process. Jesus died for your sin. You say, Pastor Bob, I already know that. But you see, that's the foundation of all of this. He died for your sin. He washed them away because sin was a barrier between you and God. So now, when God looks at you, he, is, he sees Jesus Christ in you. You are covered with his blood on the cross. Now, what does that mean for you? It means that God sees you, you, without your sin. He sees you. Jesus died so you could communicate with God even though you're not perfect. Now, we have those little sins, or those big sins, that we say, well, this is the one that gets in the way of my relationship with God, and every time we commit it, we think that God is looking at us going, I saw that. Don't you do that again. And he's not. The greatest thing, folks, is that morality is a response to grace. It's not the road to it. You see, it's because of God's grace. It's because of Jesus' death on the cross that I can improve. It's because I have that relationship with him that I ever get any better. And if you're still trying to clean up your own morality with your own efforts, have you noticed it's not working very well? That's the point. And if you could have done that once again, Jesus would never have had to die on the cross. That's the point. By the way, that's the good news, isn't it? And so this is it. Listen. Morality is a response to grace, not the road to it. Your morality will clean up the closer you get to God. It will begin to happen. So how can you improve your moral condition? Have you noticed that whenever you try to work on a certain sin and you say, okay, I'm really going to try harder and harder to clean this up, usually it gets worse? That's all you can think about. When you concentrate on sin, you see sin. You keep saying it, and you see it more and more and more. When you concentrate on God, and you focus on his faith, the Bible says you fix your eyes on the author of your faith, the creator of your faith, the alpha and the omega of your faith. Fix your eyes on Jesus the beginner and the finisher. Well, what happens when you do that instead of fixing your eyes on sin? You begin to see God instead of your sin. You know, and I've used that example before, but for instance, right behind me here is the Vengeance, the original, by the way, Vengeance album picture. That's the picture that we shot to record that album. And if I say, don't look at that picture, Again, that's all you're going to see. We used this example with Arthur a few months ago. But that's all you'd see if I tell you not to look at it. I said, now don't look at it, just look at me. What would you do? You'd be looking at that the whole time. That's the point. It's, we do the same thing with sin. We say, okay, don't sin. And all you can do is think about not sinning and thinking about that sin, and it gets worse. You see, that's why 
morality is a response to grace. It's not the road to it because you could never do it that way. But when you fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of your faith, then your morality begins to change automatically because of who he is, not who you are. We'll talk more about this in the weeks to come. God bless you. Have a great day.